What's up, kids? This is Chapter 2, Lesson 6. Uh, the topic of this lesson is estimate with percents. And as you can see, there's the Cornell Note format behind me. So you will need either your composition book or a note page. And you should be following along, copying the notes, pausing when you need to, backing up if necessary. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the word estimate. So when you see the word estimate, that means you're not solving for the exact answer. You are wanting to get something close to give you an idea of an answer. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is how would you estimate 19% uh, of uh, 53 dollars. What is 19 percent of 53 dollars? Again, we're not solving exact. We are trying to get an estimate. So the first thing I and to there's a lot of models with today's lesson. Um, the first thing though that we're going to do is what numbers are close to these that would make it a lot easier to deal with. So I'm just going to put arrows from to both of these, 19% and $53. What are these close to that would make my life easier? Uh, and you may need to try something else if, it, if the numbers don't break up the way you need to for your model. Uh, but 19%, that's really close to 20. That makes that pretty easy to work with. And $53, I'm going to uh, round that to a nice even 50. So a lot of today is um, making models. And I'm going to change this. So to estimate this, I am going to solve 20% of... $50. And to do that, I'm going to make a double, uh, a bar diagram, a double bar diagram. So it's going to look like this. And let's see, let's make sure I did that right. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. So there's my bar, and across the top, I'm going to label uh, percents. And over here, I can always start with zero. And over here, a full bar is 100%. So across the top, I'm labeling percents. Across the bottom, I'm labeling money. So this is an empty bar. The full bar in this problem represents $50. Now I'm going to break up my bar, and because I want 20%, counting by 20s would be very useful. I could count by 10s if I wanted to, but 20s is uh, going to be useful. So I'm going to divide up my bar into um, so that I can count by 20s. This is 20%, 40, 60, 80. Now, across the bottom, what do I want to count by down here? Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five pieces. You could calculate 50 divided by 5 to tell you what each piece is worth. Turns out each piece is 10. So 20% of $50 is right here. I can see that here's 20%. And that turns out to be $10. So my estimate for 19% of $53 would be about, because it's an estimate, 
about $10 would be a good answer. So uh, a lot of your problems today uh, are examples or uh, problems like this. If you see in your work today, if you see examples, uh, I think, let me double check. If you see example one or example two next to a problem, this would be a good strategy to use, a double bar diagram. So example one or two, try to build, first get friendly numbers, so adjust the percent and the amount. Uh, could be a number, it might be money, doesn't have to be. But make these numbers friendly. 19 we changed to 20, 53 we changed to 50, and then we built our model with the friendly numbers and got an estimate of about 10. Okay, the next problem we're going to look at is this. A polar bear A polar bear can eat uh, this is a fun fact a polar bear can eat 10% of its weight in an hour okay a polar bear can eat 10% of its weight in an hour that's what life is like living in the Arctic. Once you get some food, you have to pack it away fast. Uh, so polar bear can wolf down 10% of its weight in an hour. An adult polar bear, I don't abbreviate polar bear, weighs or can weigh uh, 715 pounds. So the question is, how much could that polar bear eat in an hour? Polar bear can eat 10% of its weight in an hour. An adult polar bear weighs 715 pounds. How much could that big boy eat in an hour? So. Again, this is an estimate. We're not solving exact. So 10%, I like that 10%. That's a nice, easy round number. 715, uh, it's not too bad, but a much easier number to deal with that's super close to that would be 700. So I, for an estimate on this one, I'm going to find 10% of 700. 10% we kept, that one's a nice round number. 715, we're going to make it 700, which is close, and 700 is a much easier number to work with than um, 715. So this strategy is using equivalent ratios to help you figure it out. So 10% is the same thing as 10 out of 100, or if I simplify that, it's 1 tenth. Well, over here, the total of the bear is 700. We're trying to figure out this. That is the 10% number, the part that the bear can eat in an hour. So I'm looking at my equivalent ratios and thinking to myself, well, how do I go from 10 to get to 700? We could calculate this direction, dividing 700 divided by 10 to figure out what this number is. And if you calculate it, you get 70. 10 times 70 makes 700. So I have to do times 70 up here. That tells me that 10% of the bear that weighs 700 is 70 pounds. But again, that was an estimate. So imagine porking down 70 pounds of food in one hour. That guy can eat. So again, 
estimate, about 70 pounds. Um, and this strategy was equivalent ratio strategy. Uh, in your book, these are the problems that say, if it says example three, try this strategy. Try setting up a look back to this example. If it says example three, try setting up a uh, equivalent ratio. Okay, last problem and last uh, strategy is how would we solve or estimate 67% uh, of 208. 67% of 208. This strategy is called estimate using a rate per 100 which is a percent. Estimate using a rate per 100. So in this strategy, I've got 67% of 208. Well, I know that 67% means 67 out of 100. I'm going to write that down right here. 67%, that means uh, 67 out of 100. There's my rate per 100. And 208, well, I'm going to change that. What's my nearest 100? 208 is darn close to 200. So that is what I'm going to change 208. For my estimate, I'm going to call that 200. 208, it's really close to 200. Well, now what I'm going to do is I need 67, I need to count 67 for the first 100, 67 for the second 100, because I've got two of them. So my estimate would be 67 plus 67. Here's the first 100, here's the second 100, and my total would be 134. So about... 134 would be my answer because, again, these are estimates. I changed 208 to 200. And in your work today, when you see example 4 next to the question, this is the strategy you should try. Estimate using a rate per 100. Okay, let me do one last thing. I'm going to kind of separate the strategies. Again, on your work today, if you see example uh, one or two, try this strategy. I'm just going to kind of divide these. They're separated. If you see example three next to a problem on your practice, try an equivalent ratio. And the last one, if you see an example four next to a question, on your practice, try this. Try to estimate using a rate per 100. That's all for lesson six. I will see you next time.